Okay, here we go. How to install a Debian unofficial non-free ISO. I believe they use the term unofficial to scare people away. It's on their regular website. This is where I get it from. I'll put the link in the description. <coughs> Quick note about the uh, background noise. It's really hot here and the AC is going to kick on like it just did. Also there's dogs in the room with me and they may make, make uh, noise occasionally. Anyways. This is where I get it from. This is the one I'm going to be using, the cinnamon version. Uh, I actually don't recommend using the cinnamon version of Debian. If you really love cinnamon, use LMDE5. That's what I use because it's always going to have the latest cinnamon. But, I know my way around cinnamon, and as you'll see by how slow I am, I need any advantage I can get. So, I built a VM with 8 gig of memory and 8 CPU cores, and we're going to do an install. Okay, so we're going to install Debian. Now, because it's on a VM, it's not really going to need the non free firmware. Uh, I've installed this on this same machine. This is the host, I'll show you the host machine real quick. I tried it on the host machine really quick and this is the machine I'm running LMDE5 but that's the as you can see the physical machine and I installed Debian 11 on another uh, partition I've saw no difference between installing it there and installing it here other than it's going to be a little annoyed at the graphics I believe which I don't care to fix on VM So this is the Calamari's installer. It's a pretty straightforward installer that you'll see on others. It's a little bit better than their, I think they call it a graphical installer. Very use, loose usage of the term graphical. Just going to put it on the whole drive.
not going to be keeping this up so uh, that care about having this really secure password install bootloader you always want to make sure it's installing bootloader to the correct drive Okay, I'm going to pause the video because this is going to take a little bit and I'll pick it back up just as it's finishing. Okay, I'm going to pick it back up here because this is where, regardless of how big a machine you put it on, 77% is about removing 10 packages is about where it hangs up. It's, on, it's taken about three four minutes to get to this point I want to show you can fast forward but I really want to show about how long it takes to get through this why it takes so long to get through this part and so well, that was maybe a minute and there it is I'm gonna go ahead and restart it Yeah, that check your videos happens on Cinnamon. I don't think I've seen it on other. DEs. So there it is. I'm going to stop the video here. I'm going to go into some customization. I'll show how to do add to uh, Now, if you'll notice, sudo worked. On many um, initial Debian installs, sudo will not work. I will show how to fix that for those people that are using other versions of uh, the Debian installer. But as you see, unlike the vanilla Debian, the sudo worked fine. And I'll let I'll let this update 
finished to see how money updates. I just downloaded this, the latest 11.3 Debian, just believe it was yesterday, perhaps the day before, and that's it. Anyways, we're going to call this video done.